And we are going to begin with the latest Democratic presidential debate, which put the party's policy divide front and center in, in front of the entire nation. Centrist candidates repeatedly argued last night that proposals from left-wing Democrats go too far and play into Republicans' hands. Candidates Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders took turns defending their plans for everything from health care to immigration. Ed O'Keefe is in Detroit, where he covered the debate. Ed, what stood out to you? Well, Anthony, look, voters had said to us they wanted substance, and last night they got it. Conversations about health care, immigration, gun control, and how to pay for college. Just because it was substantive, though, doesn't mean it didn't get testy. This is an example of wish list economics. You can't just spring a plan on the world and expect it to succeed. Moderate Democrats desperate for attention came out swinging early, knowing this might be their only chance to challenge the liberal views of Senators Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. So I think Democrats win when we run on real solutions, not impossible promises. When we run on things that are workable, not fairy tale economics. But the two senators anticipated the attacks and hit back. You know, I don't understand why anybody goes to all the trouble of running for president of the United States just to talk about what we really can't do and shouldn't fight for. <laughs> Medicare for all is comprehensive. It covers all health care needs for senior citizens. It will finally include dental care, hearing aids, and eyeglasses. But you don't know Second that. of all. You don't know that, Second Bernie. of all. We'll come to you in a second, I do know, and I wrote the damn bill. Why do we got to be the party of taking something away no, from people? No one is the okay, party. Hold, hold That's on one what second, they're Senator. running on. They're no. running on telling half the country that your health insurance is illegal. It says it right in the bill. Let's be clear about this. We are the Democrats. We are not about trying to take away health care from anyone. That's what the Republicans are trying to do. The other Democrats on stage also stopped short of Sanders and Warren's calls for decriminalization of border crossers. If you want to come into the country, you should at least ring the doorbell. We got 100,000 people showing up at the border right now. If we decriminalize entry, if we get health care to everyone, we'll have multiples of that. And continue to debate whether the government should be paying college tuition. My problem with some of these plans is they literally would pay for wealthy kids, for Wall Street kids, to go to college. We can have debt-free college for low- and middle-income students by expanding Pell Grants and compelling states to pick up more of the burden. The best thing you could do to stimulate the U.S. economy is to get rid of this debt. But all agreed on the need to defeat President Trump. Trump is a pathological liar. I tell the truth. Ultimately, we have to beat Donald Trump. Anyone on this stage tonight or tomorrow night would be a far better president. So folks were calling last night the Motown showdown. Maybe today we call tonight's debate the Detroit do-over. Former Vice President Joe Biden will be standing alongside California Senator Kamala Harris, who surprised him at the last debate by going after his record on civil rights. He says he won't be polite if one of his competitors comes at him. Harris says she'll merely call out differences when needed. We'll see what happens. Anthony? Yes, we will, Ed. Thank you very much.